Okay, I'm here with uh, a good friend of mine and uh, a fighter I've been a fan of for well for his whole career and for my whole career as well, Brad Pickett. Um, and this weekend is a special one for you, um, and a special one for all the fans that are going to witness it as well. Just talk me through where you are right now in your head and, and what you're seeing of this weekend. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to keep real focused. I mean, like, in the day, I'm still an athlete, you know, and I have a job to do Saturday night. So that I'm really trying to keep focused. But yeah. I love, love, I've been doing a lot of interviews and a lot of people are trying to pull on my emotional swings and I'm trying to hold it or hold it in, but it's, I just know, when people see me, they know I'm a very emotional guy and with my fight last year in the O2, you know, they, they saw after the fight, well, fighting in general and stuff like that means to me and how emotional I am and uh, it's, I, I, I just, I, mean, I can't predict, but I assume I'll be a wreck after the fight, you know. I've, I think there'll be a lot of relief as well, I think, just like, a lot of like, okay, this is over, you know, and it's good, you know. Yeah. Have there been times, I mean, you've had such a, such a long career, you've fought so many times and it was so much experience. Have there been times in, in the past where maybe a fight's not gone your way and you got back to the dressing room and thought to yourself, you know, I, th I think that's it? Um, for me, when I ever got into the sport, it was, it was to try and see how far I could go with it, you know. Obviously, when, when we first started, it wasn't even a sport. It was just like a bit of fun and quite kind of like a cool job-ish, you know. Uh, but then when I started getting to the level where I've started to travel the world and you see rankings, I'm like, ah, I want to be the best in the UK. I've done that. I wanted to be the best in Europe. I've done that. I wanted to be you know, like signed by a good old, uh, big organisation. WC picked me up. Brilliant. Wanted to get into the top ten. Done that. Top five. Done that. Want to get a title shot. And every time I kind of like got close to a title shot, I kept them falling over at the final hurdle. And like, so when I got my, la my last loss at that, that uh, bantamweight was uh, Michael McDonald, then I decided to go down a weight class because I have, I have a win over the, the champion at uh, flyweight. And uh, you know, so I feel like if I go down that weight class, maybe if just one one or two wins, I'll get an immediate title shot. And then, then yeah, again, there's my chance to be number one in the world. And going down to that weight class, I found out. Yeah, I'm not the quickest guy in the world, and, and these guys are really quick. And it's weird, isn't like that. I just found that they found a way of beating me. Uh, like if you put me in the room with any of those guys, I'll come out of the room on my own, you know. Like, but they just over 15 minutes, I just couldn't catch them, and I, I, I'd lose a point, so I uh, lose a, a decision. Yeah. So then I thought I'd come back up a week. I was giving one little go at Bannon Way, and then. Uh, I bumped into Thomas Ameda, felt great, man, and the fire was going well, and boom, then I got, I got caught. So then, then it was like, oh man, now what I'm doing? And then I, I, I had my fight with Rivera, and like, you saw with the emotions after that fight, I was close to retiring then. If I'd have lost that fight, I'd probably have gone, you know what, this sport's not for me anymore. Uh, because I always was in the sport to try and see how far I could go and be number one, not just to make up the numbers. And then, then I beat Rivera. Yeah, it was a close fight, and you saw the relief. I'm like, yes, I'm not retiring. I love my job. This is awesome. And I'm, I'm staying on this horse. And then I had two fights since. And, and the, the worst fight I've ever had in my life, in my life, the worst thing was when, when I fought um, Yuri Alcantara. I was supposed to fight him in Germany. The fight got delayed. Uh, back to uh, uh, to fight in Manchester. So I had the longest training camp of my life. I was away from my family. I didn't have a good training camp. It was it, 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 really emotional for me, and, I, and it felt really, the, the most it ever felt like a job, you know, where it is a job, but you love your job and you don't feel like it, but it felt like a job. Didn't, didn't really like the opponent, but I just accepted it because yet again, Henry Brown is pulled out, you know, and I had to get someone. So then I fought, and I've lost fights before, but it was the first time I lost a fight where I didn't get a chance to do anything. Yeah. And straight away, I was just like, what's the point of all this? The amount of time I spent away from my family and, and all that, and I'm like, this sucks, you know, I'm done. Yeah. And I was literally done then, and I was like, it made us like, okay, right, I'm, I owe it to myself to hand out my gloves in my hometown uh, in, in, in March, and, and that's what I said, and so it was an accident. But in between, obviously, I thought, you're right, a favor, that was just an opportunity I, I, I couldn't not a take, you know, but in my head, it was already said that I was retiring here um, in my hometown Saturday night, win, lose, whatever. Yeah. 
So, so then going into this training camp and knowing from the beginning of the camp that it was your last, your last fight and your last training camp, and obviously you're so close to to the, all the guys at ATT, Mike Brown and stuff. How has this training camp been different? I know there's been moments where you've been thinking to yourself, you know, this is the last time I'm doing this, and and how has that changed your motivation? It hasn't changed my motivation at all. Is like I'm, I've always been a very motivated person, as and that's the thing with this sport. You, you you have to be motivated. You have to try. Sometimes you're motivated by family or money or competition, you, but you always have to be motivated. But yeah, it was it was a weird one. Just knowing there was a lot of lasts. You know, this is my last wrestling practice. This is my last this, and, and, and it was so weird. Like if I wasn't retiring. And I fight. I knew I'd be fighting before the end of this year, so I just know I'd be going out to America at some point. But now, yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to go out there. I have a lot of good friends and, and stuff, and and it's like, yeah, obviously I will go out there, but it's like, I don't know. And you know, it's weird it's not planning that I'm going out there. And it's, I have a lot. I mean, I've I have great family here in the UK, and I have a family in America, you know, I, and I, I love them both dearly, you know. So, but. I have real family here in the UK uh, with my wife and my little son Buddy and my brother Russell and, and uh, yeah, so I'm happy I can spend a bit more time with them. And with the work that you've done over here, what, what with the promotion that you've worked that you've been working on and obviously Titan Fighter as well, all the up and coming guys, mm-hmm. uh, have you looked past this? Have you have you given yourself time to look past this and thought about what you're going to do next? And is there anything that excites you about retirement and about the next phase of your life? Of course, there's in like. That, that's I mean part of my me towards the end of my career I, I, I knew that I had to like plant seeds and, and and create things so obviously me and my coach Mickey will create our own show Rise of Champions which is I, I think a great little show for, for the young inspiring athletes you, you know to go on and and perform and a good platform for them to grow you know um, and yes but I think sometimes especially with that when I felt with you Akaja because the fight got put back, I had a fight show one week after that, and then I'm, people are p- pulling out the fights or, on my card, and it's like, oh my God. So I think part of me, living to the tail of my career, it was a really smart thing to do that I needed to uh, plant seeds and do stuff. Like, also, I want to open my own gym in, uh, near my house in South London. So it's important for me to set the foundation of this, but then I was, sometimes I was doing too much. I was being a dad. I was being a fire. I was being a promoter. I was being a, trying to be a businessman. I, I was like, so did this camp of actually, you know what? I could do all that after I retire, you know. So I, I put looking for a facility for my gym. I put that on hold. I put a fight show on hold at the moment. And then once I retire, I could go back to doing all that, you know, and go to the next chapter of my life, you know. And last question: When, when? When it's all said and done and when all the noise of this weekend's passed and when you sat on your own at home and you're thinking about your career, what, what do you feel about what you've left behind and, and the impact that you've had on this sport and what is, most, what is your most proud moment? Um, the proudest moment for me is actually uh, giving birth to my son. You know, well, I didn't give birth to actually. But, <laughs> uh, but with my career, it's like... It's weird, as you know. I've been sent. UFC have done some great montages of, of my career, and some fans have done some ones. And it's like, yeah, kind of. Like, it gets me kind of emotional because I, 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 I watch them all, and I think, man, it's been a been a long old journey. But I'm happy with what I did. You know, I've zero regrets throughout my career, and, and you know, and uh, I'm looking for, in a way. I, I'm. It's gonna like say it's a bit sweet. I'm gonna be relieved in one way uh, and gutted in another way you know but because i love this job there's nothing better than this job but you know everything has to come to an end especially when you're an athlete and like i said not many athletes get to leave uh, the sport on their terms with their body intact you know yeah yeah well good luck this weekend make it everything you dreamed it would be and uh i will look forward to this next phase of your life and Appreciate enjoy retirement you, my friend thank you brad pickett legend